Uh, dear friends, Fisher here. Today we continue with Bruno's lecture in 1958, and Bruno was surrounded by his friend, and he said, "Would you have believed that a person whose body has been paralyzed for 14 years, her body would be free again one day?" Yes. Oh no. What have I done for her? I believed it. What I have done for all of you. What I must do when I see such a person in front of me. Also, if you were in that condition, I believe. But the question is, whether you are prepared to adopt the real belief now. You see, that solves everything. It depends on that. Without preparation, there is nothing to do. Nothing be desired. The human being simply rejects it. He does not believe. He does not even believe in himself. He does not even believe in the good that he needs for himself and for his body. This is a short preparation, meaning, now I have to believe for you, and always do believe. But whether I can pass on my firm belief, which I am convinced of. It's a question for this time that we spend together. You sleep. You are literally sleeping. You are comfortable the way you are used to be. If you do not like me telling you the truth, and then I can go. I don't mind, but I must tell you the truth. It depends on you, not on Gurney. I am always focused on it. I am always prepared for it, just as when I come, and once I am here, and more than ever, I am focused. I never come unprepared. I ask, and I pray for you, that you too adopt this belief, the true belief that you need for your life, and for your own body, which was ordained for you not by me, but by God. That you should certainly accept the divine. That is what is important now. Thank you very much for telling me the truth. Have someone said yes? And then I could have told you more. I thank you for that. Will you believe it today? Yes, dear friends. Bruno talk about belief here. Does he always say, "The belief came first. Without belief, there is no life." And human beings have to either believe in the good or the bad. There is no gray zone. I have a、uh, relatives who said I don't believe anything, meaning he doesn't believe in God, he doesn't believe in any religion or whatsoever. But he does believe in money because he has been working very hard for it. That is very sad, dear friends. That's what's happened in this world. Many people. Regardless, what culture, background, religion, tradition we come from, many many people believe in money. So that is why we have been ruining ourselves, and we have been ruining our environment, our children. And it's time to the great reversal, as what Bruno called us here. And Bruno also said, "We are sleeping." He means to say our soul is sleeping. We are not conscious. Of the life we live in, we are not conscious of the purpose of our existence on Earth to serve the good, to serve the divine, and we're so used to the way we think, we used to the way we do, we used to the way we talk, and then we don't think the consequences about it, we don't think the repercussion about it, and we don't think about what we do and how we do. How others will be impacted by our actions, and Bruno really want us to change, to wake up to the reality that we live in. The path we have been walking is wrong, and we're here to turn around, to walk on God's divine path, to walk on the path of good. And whoever wants good health, he first has to believe he will achieve it. Without believing the good, we achieve nothing. I wish you have a good day, dear friends.
God bless.